Hey there peeps, so what's going on? This is Jeff aka Nomad Fury and I'm back once again in doing videos but before we begin make sure you guys click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for you to stay notified on what is going on in the world of cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology and not only that you can also follow my official social media channels that are displayed here in the screen or in my YouTube description so guys you see that I am not just talking about crypto and blockchain but I'm also going to share about my thoughts regarding you know, artificial intelligence and Internet of Things you know because I'm also a fan of it you know so how about integrating blockchain into IOT so as you may know guys I'm a fan of both artificial intelligence and IOT so it all started when I took part of the annual Connected Asia event in Singapore a few months ago. So to be honest, it's one of the biggest events that I've ever encountered. The lap, you know, the event lasted around three days, which they've occupied almost all of the function and event rooms of Marina Bay Sands and Suntech Singapore. So I was blown away when I see this demo project in action and I want to show you some, you know, video clips that I've taken during the event. Since I'm into cryptocurrency and blockchain technology, I love innovation. Cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology are innovating the way we do peer-to-peer -peer transactions, securing our identities online, delivering and tracking of products and services, voting and so on. It means that we are entering the fourth industrial revolution where we are going digital and do some stuff in a smart way. In 2017, 170 billion US dollars was the expected growth of IoT industries and it could even rise up to 560 billion US dollars that was projected in 2022. It simply means that the artificial intelligence and IoT industry would never stop growing and evolving as more as you know a lot of companies continue to invest in this kind of industry. Okay guys, we all know that innovation in every industry cannot be stopped. So we are entering the digital era and everything that we have keeps improving from time to time. Like for example, during the year 2000s, GSM phones such as Nokia 5110, 3210, 3310, 8210, etc. are the real deal. Of course, I own I owned those phones back then when I was still you know, high school or college. Instead of using telephones for voice calls, GSM phones taking it to the next level by letting us experience sending messages and calls anywhere we go. So as years goes by, almost all GSM phones have phased out due to the evolution of smartphones. Why? Smartphones can do better than that. Not only that we can do SMS and voice calls on a regular basis, we can do other stuff such as social media, text and video chatting with your friends, listening to music, playing mobile games, browsing the internet, watching your favorite TV shows, and the list goes on. Right now, there are sunglasses that lets you listen music or voice calls without putting on your headset, which was true. I have seen it you know, in a store here in Makati. And there are even light bulbs that you could switch on and off with your phone's mobile app in case you forgot to either turn it on or off, you know, like, you know, when I have this phone and I have installed this light bulb right here, when I'm going to click on that, it will turn off, something like that. So there's also a video game console that lets you switch from playing on TV to a handheld, which I'm talking about Nintendo Switch, of course, if you are familiar of Nintendo Switch, if you are, you know, a hardcore gamer like me, you know, especially those who own Nintendo Switch, and the list goes on and much more than that, so, or maybe, maybe in the next few years or a decade, who knows, maybe there would be robots who might be your house assistant instead of hiring house helpers to cut down costs, or maybe those robots would you know would you know you can see these robots uh, assisting you here in these coffee shops later on okay so anything is possible guys so if you're familiar with Sophia she's one hell of a smart robot she was even granted Saudi Arabian citizenship and was a guest of Jimmy Kimmel's show one time this could be one of the reasons why the IOT industry's growth can be a massive one and it cannot be stopped 
there's a huge potential for IoT to become bigger in the next few years to a decade as I believe that small to big investors are pouring their money into these innovative stuffs around the corner. So the real question here right now is, can blockchain be integrated to various IoT projects? So for me, all of them were an eye-opener to me when it comes for blockchain to expand in other areas. So speaking of those areas, you know, they could cover such as smart cities, mobile trade and transportation, camera and security, connected vehicles, retail industry, smart devices, pets, and so on. It can even expand to other areas in the next few years or decades or so. So imagine if blockchain was integrated in any of these IoT areas that I've mentioned. Blockchain industry is also growing these days. So right now, most of its use case were on dApps on what we call decentralized apps, which either it can be a game app or any other. So there are some schools that are using blockchain technology to confirm the attendance of their students by just letting them scan their QR codes from their IDs. Also, I remember that there's a Philippine senatorial candidate, candidate I mean, named Ted Casino. I don't know guys if you are familiar with him during the election. He is an advocate for blockchain-based voting system that would provide transparent results in voting for a candidate and the list goes on for me i would actually agree with that because you know you know the voting system here in the philippines is quite complicated even the picos machines it doesn't provide transparency so i do actually agree that voting needs to be integrated into blockchain especially that you know election would come in a few years from now okay so with a combination of blockchain and IOT there's no stopping them from innovating or growing even more so of course we all know what is it for us if blockchain was integrated into IOT so do you think it's a must need or there's no need for blockchain so as you can see right here there are three key benefits in using blockchain with IOT okay so it's no other than creating trust reduce cost and kit can accelerate transactions okay let's start with trust first okay so it is an essential benefit okay between parties and devices so when you implement blockchain into these IOT devices for me it creates trust because of its transparency and decentralization since it's running on the disruptive blockchain technology it gives us a great opportunity to verify everything that we've been doing so just like in the NBA where there's a term called ball don't lie blockchain doesn't lie too why since it's a distributed public ledger every one of us can see the transaction hash which cannot be removed and will stay on the blockchain forever okay therefore IOT devices and other stuff that are integrated with blockchain would ensure us that there will be trust between parties so another benefit that I would like to mention is reducing cost. So of course, it's common that no matter what industry are we in, the presence of overhead is always there, like middlemen and intermediaries. For me, they are one of the key reasons why transaction fees are so expensive. Like in banks and remittance centers, transaction fees are eating us up because of the presence of these intermediaries and middlemen. The same thing goes to those IOT devices who are centralized have and have almost the same functions as these banks and remittance centers so with the disruptive blockchain technology it cuts out the overhead from the game it means that when the middleman and intermediaries are no longer in the game it reduces our transaction cost once and for all let me give you guys one real use case on why blockchain can reduce transaction costs so when we send large chunks of money from one bank account to the other, transaction fees are going higher. Transaction fees are not always the same if you send small and big amounts, okay? So the bigger you send, the higher your fees are. So not only that, the bank would question you about the reason for sending bigger amount to another bank account, which requires you to prepare necessary documents before they approve the transaction. In other words, the banks have the power to approve or reject it. So that is a centralized system. However, there are few cases that on, it only costs us cents to a few dollars, depends on the amount that we spend, when sending crypto from one wallet to the other. 
There are real cases that it only cost them cents for sending millions worth of Bitcoin, Ethereum, or other cryptocurrencies from wallet to one wallet to the other. The secret? Blockchain and decentralization. So if we integrate blockchain into IoT that does similar functions in sending and receiving transactions, expect that we would save more money due to cost reduction. And finally, the last but not the least, a key benefit of integrating blockchain into IoT is through accelerating transactions. I mentioned earlier about reducing costs every time you do a transaction on the blockchain. But this time, we're talking about accelerating transactions in the form of settlements. Usually, when we do settlements for some certain things, it takes us days for it to be completed. So this is a long-time problem that we are encountering nowadays. And blockchain can finally solve all of that. Instead of waiting for days for a settlement to be completed, especially in using IoT devices, blockchain has the capability to settle it almost instantly. At least it's way better than just waiting for some days for the settlement to be completed, right? So at least you guys have understood a bit about you know the benefits of blockchain integration to IoT. So I can say that there is a bright future ahead for both blockchain and IoT industry with this really is cases, okay? So guys, what what do you think about blockchain integrated into IoT? Do you think it will help us in the long term? Okay, or there is no need for blockchain to be integrated to IoT. So I would respect all of your opinions, guys, and I would really appreciate, guys, if you leave a comment right down here in this video on tell, or what what you really think about blockchain integrated into IoT. No matter if it's a positive or a negative comment, well, I, I would really appreciate that. Okay. So anyway, guys, I so thank you so much for tuning into this video. So I hope that this video helps you a lot and I hope that this would be an eye-opener for you especially that I know that there are some of you guys who are developing IoT projects and was thinking like do I need blockchain so if you think that this video really helps you a lot to decide whether whether if blockchain really helps you know IoT devices of course please don't hesitate or think twice in sharing this video to your crypto friends out there and one more thing peeps if you haven't subscribed yet to my youtube channel just click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for you to stay notified about my latest videos about cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology and not only that you can also follow my official social media channels that are displayed here in the screen or in my youtube description Okay guys, this is all for now. Thank you so much. Once again, this is Jeff aka Nomad Fury and see ya on my next video.